Hey, I'm Colby Keller, porn star, artist, and sex blogger. Get in bed with me. Man hunters! It's me, Colby Keller, your resident sex expert, here to answer all of your pressing sexual concerns. Today, I thought I'd address a question I get asked pretty frequently from fans out there. It's a simple one. How do you get started in the porn business? To tell you the truth, I started in this business years ago. God knows things have changed. So today I thought I'd bring a fresh new face on, someone who's just started in the business who can answer that very question. Please welcome my good friend, Dale Cooper. Dale, how's it going? I'm great. Very good to hear, Dale. So tell us, do you have any tips for people interested in breaking into the pornography business? Well, I'm really glad that you asked, Colby. You know, I've put together a few helpful hints for other people looking to get started for the first time in the biz. Right, number one is to know what you bring to the table. You know, do you have muscles? Do you have a nice smile? Do you have a really, really big dick? You know, figure out what your assets are and be confident in your body. Number two is to take some good photos of yourself. Find some decent lighting or a friend with a decent camera to do that for you. Those can be a really big help. Number three is to decide if you want to go solo or if you want to try to hire an agent. Um, agents can be really helpful and get you tons of work, but they take a cut, so keep that in mind. Number four is to just submit yourself. Pretty important step, right? Find websites that you enjoy and that you think you'd fit in on. And don't forget to include things about what you're comfortable performing and what your stats are and what your location is. You know, stuff that they need to know. Number five is to submit yourself again. And number six is to submit yourself again and again and again. All right, guys, don't give up. Don't despair. Studios have to wait through tons of torsos of guys and their dicks and, you know, all of that stuff. So don't take it personally, but don't be too pushy. Try to wait at least a month before getting back in touch with a studio that you haven't heard from. Number seven is to figure out what you're going to tell your friends and your family. You know, the celluloid closet isn't really that much of an option anymore. Anticipate what any social consequences could be and be ready for those. Which leads us to a really important tip, which is number eight. Do it because you want to, right? What are your reasons for wanting to get into sex work? I think a longer and a healthier career will come to people who are really interested in this type of work and who enjoy it. And that's really true of any industry. Uh, number nine is be clear what you're agreeing to and what you're signing up for. You know, sex work can be a lot of fun. It can be great. You get to travel. But sex work is work. It says it right there in the title. So you can be in for some really long and uncomfortable days. You can also really be in for some really hot, sweaty, really great days, too. So keep that in mind. And number 10 is to be yourself and have fun. You know, sex is pretty awesome. Uh, and being a porn actor can be a lot of fun. So I think if you're authentic and if you're enjoying the experience, that would really translate well on camera and off in your personal life. So that's what I've got. Thank you guys very much. I hope that's helpful, Manhunters. And Colby, back to you. Well, thank you, Dale. That was very helpful. It actually seems like things haven't changed that much after all. Apply, apply, apply. To see more of Dale, you can find him at DaleDoesPorn.com. Thanks, guys.